the underground lake to search for an heir. I don't suppose you found me somewhere, did you? Oh, my old partner. Life has certainly led us on a strange journey to bring us to this point. <laughs> now then, let's get going. <laughs> I know I talked you out of the grains of dancing sand for me. Amigos! Welcome to Pierre Ron's traveling circus! <laughs> You were the one who was sending love letters this whole time, huh? Come on, old man Sabato. What do you say the two guys from the shadows make their own ring of blood? Sure sounds like a good time to me. I thought that you might be able to decipher my message. Well, look so bad if you use a basic PDP scramble algorithm, so I just flop the ECM data stream. Donatello? Why are all the other cells open? I must have opened them when I let you out, but they were all empty. I'm not so sure about that. The biblical, isn't it? <laughs> Change of plan. If you see a bacteria, run away! I don't know, we're talking about the city there. I'm so glad I was able to help. We are known as this spot on number nine, our narrow, our way. <laughs> so he was right, that he should not say. He's a clever one. He guessed that all that ruckus outside was just a diversion. Serenius, stop! You're letting your anger take over. It stinks! Where's the living room? Where's the kitchen? He was amazing. Did you see that exit? All right, cool. Yeah, hear me okay? I want to make sure you love what you guys hear me in the back. I'll raise my voice if I have to. And I'll be careful when I... I'm going to try not to blow your ears out in the front. Okay, so we're going to talk about the evil stuff. So I think the first thing we want to do is to understand kind of what evil is. So where do we start? We start with the definition of evil. Wicked, bad, wrong, immoral, sinful, foul, vile, dishonorable, corrupt, iniquitous, depraved, reprobate, villainous, nefarious, Vicious, malicious, and even more. So that's the interesting thing about evil, is when you're playing a, a bad guy, they're probably not going to be all of these different things. They may be one of them, they may be a combination of them, but they're probably not going to be all of them. So just calling a character evil doesn't really tell us that much. There's lines of division as to what makes someone evil, what makes them bad. Let me, let me do a little experiment here with you guys, okay? By show of hands, how many of you guys here think that killing is wrong? Killing is bad. In real life or not? Look around a little bit. Let's see. I'm just saying, if I just say, is killing wrong, how many people think killing is wrong? Right? So you see, we got some hands up there. All right, well, how about the death penalty for a murder? Is that wrong? Is that, is that wrong? Who says that's wrong? See, already some of you are starting to get conflicted. Now, some of you that said killing is wrong, if I were to say your loved one is in danger, they're about to be stabbed by someone with a knife, you've got a gun, is it wrong to pull the trigger? And a lot of people then are going to be like, well, in that case, it's okay. So here's, so here's the thing there. It's not as easy as something is just right or wrong because the situation dictates a lot of different things. And what you've been through might dictate a lot of it. So playing just evil is just one thing. There's a lot more aspects to it. So first up, I want to talk about characters who have purposefully chosen the wrong path and enjoy causing pain and destruction. Now these characters are a lot of fun to play because you can really let loose with them. These are characters like the Joker from Batman. He just, you guys are joking, but yeah, Harlequin's here. Harlequin's up for a Harlequin like that. So these characters are a lot of fun, but they're usually, not always, sometimes they are the main villain. Joker's a good example. But a lot of times they're not. They're demons or they're henchmen 
or something or some kind of monster. They're not always the main villain because it's generally not as interesting, although sometimes it does work. You can break any rule every once in a while. So I worked, up, I worked on a character like that in a show called This is Old School. Anybody remember Mar? Mar's going to wake up back here. God, I hope this is helping. This is helping someone, I hope. So, um, so I worked on a character in this. His name was Gira. And you can tell just by looking at it, this is not a nice dude. You know what I mean? You would never, this is not the dude like you're going to go over to his house and be like, can I borrow a cup of sugar? It's not that kind of cast. So, the trustworthy, he's got a trustworthy eye. Which one? The middle one's trustworthy. All right, so without blowing you guys away, let's take, let's take a quick look at uh, Gira here. Just some gin? Is that it? Oh, I was expecting better. So then, what's your deal? I'm the chess piece called Kira. Remember that. If you're ready to die, then we should get started. You ignorant punk! He's not alone, you know! I refuse to just be ignored! Pablo? I see. You must be that human Pecker told us about. The one who's been going around trying to use Phantom's air. with these characters and you side with them because we realize as an audience that they have been wronged 
and that it hasn't been fair to them. So at least we understand, well you can't understand Giram. You don't understand that whatever that demon creature guy was. There's no way to empathize with him. But the next guys are. So I worked on the second Bleach movie, Diamond Dust Rebellion. Anybody get to see that? And I got to play the main antagonist in this. It was this guy here, so Jiro Kusaka. And you know what? I'm so mad they've never made his mask. They've never made it. Darn it all. I would buy that in a second, but they won't make it. So here's the story in this, right? So this guy, Sojiro Kusaki, he's good friends with the main character, okay, Toshiro Mitsugaya. And they both study to become members of the Soul Society, but what happens is they both manage to manifest the exact same spiritual weapon. And here's the problem with that. That is against the rules. The Soul Society does not like that. I hate this buzz. I wish I could kill that. Is that driving you guys crazy? Yeah, I need this. Can you guys hear me in the back? society's rules. So what did they come up with for the answer to this? You guys are best friends. How about you guys fight and whoever loses will put to death. <laughs> Not a villain. Any guesses? 
Okay, but you gotta have to do that, right? <laughs> Just start to the stay. Bracket deck, he's so great. Oh, so cool. So, so you can see, I don't know how many of you hear that, but you can hopefully see the difference with him. He's just being very noble. So he's never like sneering or doing any of that stuff. He's just doing exactly what he needs to do and feeling pretty darn good about it, uh, as he should. So the most common motivation for a villain, I think, is, and you know, what? Love. I don't think so. I mean, it maybe. Greed, sure. World domination. No, ambition, okay, that's great three. All of those fall into one category for me. Power, the quest for power. All of them, money, right? Uh, you know, wanting to dominate the world, ambition, that's all a quest for power. And I think most villains are the most common ones to, to fall right into that category. And we were talking about villains like, uh, you know, uh, Skeletor. Skeletor uh, <laughs> laughing, I like that. Um, Megatron, Cobra Commander, these are all famous villains that are all about the quest for power. And even their subordinates are kind of like big players on the same team. Uh, they're just doing what they can to help their cause. And really, what makes these characters bad, what makes them evil, is that they want power by any means necessary. They're willing to crack more than a few eggs to make their omelet of evil, is basically what I'm saying. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with having ambition, right? And, and greed's not a good thing, but to want more money is not on its own a bad thing. It's what you do to get that money that would make you a bad character or an evil person, right? So, um, so with that in mind, I played a number of characters like this. Let's see, I think uh, I've got here. Uh, Mabashi, I'll show you a clip of him for a second from the uh, The Transformers games, I played Rumble. Frenzy, you can't play Rumble without playing Frenzy because of the same voice. Um, anybody see Zetman? I played Seji Haitani in this one, and then just because I had the picture, I put in Smash Drag over to beat him on, which you can see. But, I put it in anyway. So, for that, while we're talking about the quest for power, there was an arc in Bleach where uh, there was a character named Mabashi, who uh, was a bad guy, but not super bad, until he drank from this Pito's juice which made him thirst for power, made him want more, and then he became kind of maniacal and power crazed. So we're going to take a look at Mabashi, who's power crazed here for us. <laughs> My Dolorit is unique. It allows me to control people's actions by entering and taking over their bodies completely! You let her go! No, oh, no, she's going to do what I want! She no longer has a will of her own. She's a slave who will obey whatever command I give her. <laughs> and now we'll kill her. Kill her! <laughs> Amazing. So this is what it's like to consume living souls. <laughs> It is really that good, by the way, guys. <laughs> if you get a chance to consume living souls, I highly recommend it. It's awesome. No, it's, it's good stuff. It makes it look crazy, but it's easy to get addicted, but it's good. So, just as a side note. So, so another type of bill I want to talk about today is one that's motivated by something we haven't talked about yet. They're motivated by hatred. Okay? So take, for example, a, an explorer who uh, hates Native Americans, for example, and wants to eradicate them. Just wants genocide, complete genocide. Not to gain something, necessarily, but just because he's justified to do so. I should say he or she is justified. Because ladies can be evil too, folks. Ladies can be. I just haven't played any evil ladies yet. <laughs> so, you guys like Disney movies? Alright, so I have this thing, because there's one Disney villain that is motivated by this, and I think that he or she is the evilest of all the Disney villains. Does anybody want to take a guess at that might be? Maleficent. Maleficent? What does Maleficent really want? Maleficent wants a little revenge for not being invited to the party. And there you go. Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Because think about all the other villains. They all want, like a little bit, they want to be the fairest. They want to kill one person, or uh, uh, what, in Robin Hood, he wants money. I mean, whatever one you go to, they're bad, but it's kind of a, you know, not so bad bad. 
Frollo is the only one that wants to commit genocide on all the gypsies. He wants to kill every single gypsy. I mean, think about that. That's like seriously the worst and most evil of all the Disney villains, at least in my opinion. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So, so I played a character, and I didn't play Frollo. Uh, Frollo was awesome, but that, that was not me. That guy's got a great voice. Um, now, what's interesting is sometimes a character like this doesn't even consider themselves evil. They may not. Because this might be a person that, in every aspect of their life, is kind of a cool dude to hang out with, like their friends think they're cool and stuff. It's only when it deals with whatever it is that they hate that the evil comes out. I mean, like you talk about like racism and stuff like that. People can be racist but be very cool to their friends. It's only when something comes in, in their way that they hate that it starts coming out, this evil that's inside them. So it's that kind of a category. What's that? Ghost set of Watchmen. That's a theme of that. So is it a good book? Oh, you don't know. So maybe get that book, maybe you don't. I don't know. But that's what it's about. We don't know. Somebody read it and, uh, and tell us how it is. We'll wait. So I worked on a character like that in something called, in a non anime, Monster High Escape of Stone Shore. Come on, you guys have heard of Monster High. I know you guys have heard of Monster High. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the character I play, you say man's got his name. Let me tell you something. Their animation is really good and their writing is really good. Now, it may not be your cup of tea, but if you like Disney movies and stuff, like, I don't know about every one of their episodes, but I've seen some of their films, their movies, and they're good. They're really well done. So, so I thank you. So I played a character called Barkley Farnham in this. And uh, this guy hated all the monsters. He called them the freaks. He thought they were worth less, that, you know, not equal to him at all. And he didn't want to kill them. He wasn't that bad. But he wanted to make money off them. So he wanted to exploit them and put them in a traveling freak show. Because why not? They don't have any rights. So let's take a look at what that, how that might come up. You'll see, I think he's a little bit different. And he seems like he could be likable in a lot of other ways, except that he feels justified to abuse these, uh, these poor monsters. <laughs> Well, you know, you could argue that the Barclays aren't trying to make the world a better place. You know, I'll work. 
characters like that, if they eradicate these people or get rid of them, they feel like that's going to make the world better. I don't see, you know, like by any means necessary to help them.
Do you see the attitude change after you kill the guy? No, you didn't because there was none. That's my point. He's crazy like that. That, by the way, that's a series called Monster. So if you get a chance to see that, check it out. It's a fantastic series. I think it's 74 episodes. Very trippy. Really cool series. Um, you can't buy it. You can only buy the first half of it, but I'm sure it's on somewhere on the internet. You guys know where to find it. Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> you guys know. So I want to open it up to some questions, but the rules, well, I'll show you, I'll show you some other characters that I think other villains I've played in the meantime. Uh, but here's the rule with the questions. I need you guys to stand up with a question and, and holler it out loud because I want to make sure everybody can hear. I don't want to waste time trying to repeat the question over and over, okay? So who's, who's got a question for me? Yeah, I said I'm out. 